This is Urkadowski of WeAreChange.org. I'm joined by the one and only Gary Johnson. He's definitely not a stranger to electoral college, to the electoral politics and the elections coming up. And I really, he's also selling weed, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. But I really wanted to ask Gary what he thinks about this year's elections because they're so different than any other election that I've personally seen where you have outsiders, supposed anti-establishment, uh, non-politically uh, correct figures skyrocketing in, this, in, in these elections. What is your take? What is happening this year with the election? Well, well, first of all, what's happening in the election is absolutely 100% analogous to my experience in New Mexico. Never been involved in politics before. The promise was, was to bring a common sense business approach to state government. And in a state that was two to one Democrat, I get elected. Yeah. I actually did what I said I was going to do and got reelected by a bigger margin. So yeah. I get it. I get it. It seems like a lot of people, not only in just New Mexico, because you came out of nowhere as well. You were not the establishment candidate. You were outside uh, when you became governor, totally. It seems like the rest of America is also picking up on that right now. And people like Bernie Sanders, who are a part of the establishment but do speak against the establishment, are rising in the polls. What is your assessment of Bernie Sanders? Well, uh, I for what you just credit him for, hooray, great, Bernie. Yeah. But uh, with regard to spending, I suppose that's where Bernie and I are going to part waves. Uh, I think that we need to balance the federal budget, and there's some really difficult choices that go along with that. And to my knowledge, Bernie isn't talking about any of that. Mm -hmm. He may be yeah. talking about making the situation worse, yeah. meaning more spending, not less. Yeah, yeah. He, he never really clearly... Uh, demonstrated how he's going to pay for, you know, also a lot of these programs from, from the best of my knowledge. Uh, what is your assessment on Trump, Donald Trump, who's also running? Well, f first of all, I get the appeal. I, I, think, I think my appeal, having been governor of New Mexico, was the same appeal. A business person who's, got a, who's very successful and just going to apply those same principles to government. But when I, when I ran for governor, I didn't say anything as stupid as I think his comments have been about immigration. Look, we should make it as easy as possible for somebody that wants to come into this country and work to be able to get a work visa. Building a fence across the border is really a nutty idea. Because when we finish that fence, then why aren't we going to build a fence across the border with Canada? And how many trillions of dollars are we going to spend on this fence and to what end? Look, Trump has this also has this opportunity to be talking about genuine tax reform, and that would be to abolish income tax and corporate tax, uh, abolish the IRS from a bureaucratic standpoint, and shrink it to a bureaucracy from like so mm -hmm. to like so um, with regard to collecting one federal consumption tax if you're going to replace the taxes with something else. Now, Rand Paul also is not doing too well in the polls. He seems to be kind of, from my assessment, kind of pandering to the GOP, not like the original senator like he was when he was coming out of the outside. Do you think, uh, what do you think is responsible for you know, his, his low poll numbers? Well, um, first of all, if, if there were a Republican that I would vote for, it would possibly be Rand Paul. But I have differences with Rand Paul, and that's on a woman's right to choose. That's um, marriage equality. That's immigration. Rand Paul wants to build a fence across the border. You know, I, I think he says some really good things when it comes to uh, military intervention. Uh, but uh, added to that, I guess, you know, a woman's right to choose. Uh, all those, and those are not small issues. So I think the fact uh, that uh, Rand Paul is a social conservative uh, and that Everybody on the stage is a social conservative. I think that's a turnoff to yeah. most people in this country. Now I have to ask you, what are your plans for 2016? Well, I hope I hope to be able to enter the race to be the Libertarian nominee. Uh, but that's something that um, that decision is still a ways away. But um, I, I'd love to be the Libertarian nominee. It's always extremely interesting to have your voice in the debates because I think you provide a lot of interesting points. And I think if there's any year for that to triumph, it's definitely this year. Well, and it might be. I mean, it, it, it really is. And we are suing the Presidential Debate Commission. If you could tag that and what that's all about. 80% of Americans, uh, you know, want another choice, but they have no idea 
why they don't have another choice, well, start with the Presidential Debate Commission. It's not a governmental agency, it's a private agency, it's a private commission made up of Democrats and Republicans with the sole objective of uh, keeping anybody else out of the debates. Now the last thing to clarify, I said that you were selling weed, you're not really selling weed, you're working in the medical marijuana industry uh, as well. Can you and tell us about that? Well, and recreational, we're a startup, uh, cannabis sativa, and what we're hoping to do is brand the best marijuana products in the world, uh, and uh, that we would franchise um, high dispensaries and high products. That's small H, small I, check it out, it's really cool. And I want to I want to offer a prediction awesome. that high is around 200 years from now. Wow! Awesome, incredible. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the audience? Well, no. Just uh, wake up. <laughs> and I know that you have an audience that is very awake. So, spread the word. I guess spread the word on this presidential debate commission. Look at that uh, and see if you don't agree that uh, this may change uh, politics in America. There definitely needs to be more voices. It also starts with Gary. Thank you so much. The link for Gary's website will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash we are change.